Hi everyone, my name is Dominic from Esri Canada. Today we will be discussing credit budgeting in ArcGIS Online. There are two main factors when discussing credit budgeting. First, we want to understand where and how our credits are being consumed. And second, how can we allocate specific quantities of credits to members of the organization? There will come a point where you'd like to identify how many credits are being consumed by items stored or how many credits were consumed for analytics. We can locate this information by navigating to the credit summary dashboard by clicking the view status from the credit section on the overview page. For the purpose of this video, I will limit my time period to the past week. Once you've selected your dates, go ahead and click refresh. Now, as you can see from both our charts, organization is consuming between 100 and 150 credits per day for storage and 0.5 credits were spent on analytics during this time period. If we wanted to dive deeper into the storage credits, we can select the utilization focus either by selecting the chart or the options on the right. The first selection will identify cr credits being consumed for varying types of storage. This being feature storage, imagery storage, and file storage are just some examples. If we click the chart a second time, we can identify how many of these credits are due to actual features being stored versus their attachments. Credit storage calculations for feature storage will be vary based on the size of the item. And as such, ArcGIS Online provides us with details to identify the size of these items stored in the organization through the form of a downloadable CSV. If we select the feature data store, it prompts us with item details where we can identify the sizes of these items. As I mentioned previously, this is downloadable by clicking the cloud download icon. Similarly, we can look at this information from the analysis side. We return to the main chart, click analytics, click a second time, and this will advise us where credits were used and by which member of our organization. With this usage information, we can limit the number of credits that can be spent by members by adjusting their credit allocation. From the members page, we can search for and manage credits allocated by clicking the options next to the user and selecting manage credits. So once you've searched for your user, click additional options and manage credits. The credit allocation window provides the functionality to limit the number that can be used by the user for transaction-based services such as geo-enrichment and spatial analysis. In this scenario, I will limit myself to 100 credits. And once this has been set, this will be displayed on the main members page. These are just a few of the tools that ArcGIS Online gives us to monitor the credits being used in our organization and make adjustments as needed. Thank you very much for your time and have a great day.